Hey and welcome back. Um, thanks for coming back and clicking on my video. This is another how-to um, from me. I'm going to show you today how to create custom thumbnails and graphics. Now, and it's going to be totally free. We're going to use all free tools. That way you don't have to pay for nothing. There's no course. You don't have to opt in. You don't have to do any of that. All you have to do is watch this video through its entirety and you'll get the general idea. <clears throat> now, um, this is a graphic I just made. I'm pulling pull it up on preview real fast so you can see it. Preview it. This is the um, graphic that you've seen when you clicked on my video. How to make free custom YouTube thumbnails and graphics. So this is what you clicked on when you came to my video. So I'm going to show you how I made this little fun graphic, um, and it's free and it's easy. Um, so let's get right to it. First of all, you go to your web browser, whatever web browser you're using. Today I'm going to be using Firefox, and all the links that um, I'm going to use today is going to be in the description of the video. So, um, go to pixlr.com. This is a free online editor. You can edit um, your content, you know, your pictures. You can edit them, whatever. The only thing that it doesn't do, it doesn't resize the pictures. So, if you have, I don't know what they use for Mac, but I know um, PCs, if you have um, Windows on your PC, then you can use paint and you can resize any image to whatever size you want. So um, I already did that. So um, I'm going to show you what to do if you need to um, do that as well. So here we go. So you click here on the butterfly. And the butterfly takes you to the editor. Now, you see this is different. Create a new image. Upload from your computer. Open image URL from library. Use Pickler, multiple device. Blah, blah, blah. So, you click on create new image. Now, it's going to be untitled. You can name it now. You can name it later. It doesn't really matter. But this preset right here, the 80... The 800 by 600 you need to change this to um, 7 it says movie 720p and the reason why that is is the same size YouTube uses for its screen so this this kind of works out for you so see how that opens up is all nice and, and and clean and everything you got your little tools the crop move lasso it's kind of like a small a light version of um you know uh photoshop but it doesn't do everything photoshop does but you know it's a light version of it you get things done and it's pretty easy so okay you come up here you hit file and you can click open image if you already have your images already that's fine if not you search online you can find some images to use whatever so you can click open image and when you open them you kind of go open all your images mine's in download section so here are my images so this is the image I'm going to use one of them so I open this image and it pops it over here in this little preview window. You want to get rid of this preview window because to oh crap. Didn't mean to do that. So we're going to do that again. Sorry about that, guys. Open image. And we're going to click that little image again. Then we're going to open it. And it's going to be on our, in our little viewer here. We're just going to move it out the way so I don't make no more mistakes. Then we're going to drag this onto the main screen here where it says untitled and you see it says you know how this is 
So now, right now we got the crop tool on. We, we, we can crop it, make this image a little bit smaller if we want, but um, we're not going to do that. Well, I'm not going to, but you may want to if you want. Um, but I am going to move it over so we have space for our text. And it's not crowding each other. So I'm going to set that right about there. It don't have to be perfect, but you know, you get the general idea. Now, what you want to do, if you're ready, you know, you got your 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 image or where you want it to be. You click here for text. This A. You click it. And for some reason. Okay, there we go. See the little icon with the plus and looks like, you know, that thing you see at the end of your sentences when you type it in Word. You click here. You see how the text opens up? Now, you type your message here. So, you just type your message here. Now, you see this looks kind of plain. You can change, you know, the font or whatever. However you want it. You want it, you know, kind of bold and look like that. Uh, yeah, let's use that. Why not? And then you can use the size. Size it up. Make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I say about right there. And then you can make it bold. Italic or italic and bold. So let's go with italic and bold. Then we're going to choose the color. See, it's already at black. So you can, you know, come over to red. Or if you want to use like some outrageous like bright yellow or green or teal I think that is or blue we got all different kind of colors here got purple pink and back to red again so how about we just use a really nice dark a nice dark blue but I want a little bit darker in this, so I'm going to move this right there. Make it a little dark blue. This is for just for the tutorial. So we're going to hit OK. You can see how the size is. We can make it bigger if we want, or we can make it smaller. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. We're going to just go to 50 on here. Like so, type a message here. And we're going to hit OK. Once we hit OK, your message will be there. Your graphic will be there. So, once you're done with everything, and you say, OK, it looks cool. I like it. You go up to here. You hit File. You hit Save. And now, if you didn't, you know, write your title in before, you definitely have to write it in now. Okay, once you write your, your title in, right here, you know, this is, you know, JPG is good for most photos. You don't have to change that if you don't want. And you can make it a, uh, a PNG if you want. Um, I'll just leave it alone, personally. So, you want 100% quality. And it's going to say working. And when it's finished, it's going to say OK. So, if you hit OK now, it's going to save this image as untitled. I'm personally not going to do that because I already made my image. But, you know, this is pretty much the end of the video. If you like the video, um, you see how to make your custom graphics and thumbnails. You can use this for anything. You could use this for your videos, you know, to put a picture in your video to, to show something, you know. Or uh, you could use this for thumbnails. Um... Yeah, so basically you can use that for anything in your videos. Um, next time I'm going to bring you another, another how-to video. Um, I really don't know what that is. I just pick these things up. I see what's out there. I see that, you know, where's a void. And I try to fill it. So, there it is. So, um, this is me, Stone Beat Killer. Um, signing off for now. Another how-to video. So, if you like the video, you know... Click like, share it with your friends. You know, they might be wanting to create their own free custom graphics for YouTube. 
um, that's how you found this video so if you like the video just click like share comment and um subscribe thanks